Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm going to show you how I podcast using WordPress. There are many ways to podcast with WordPress. This is the way I podcast with WordPress using zero plugins. I'm not talking about WordPress.com. I'm talking about WordPress.org. The normal way a lot of people use this is to go to WordPress.org and download WordPress. That button will take you to the download page. You can download it right here. It's an available in many languages, including Chinese. That's the manual way. Using the manual way, you're probably going to need a VPS, such as DigitalOcean. Now, when you use DigitalOcean, you can go to create a droplet, and you, of course, have to have an account with DigitalOcean or Linode, L-I-N-O-D-E, I do believe. You can use a distribution, such as a, you know, Ubuntu itself, or you can use one-click apps. You can get a LAMP server. That's a common web server. 16.04, of course, is a reference to Ubuntu. There are two Ubuntu versions at any one time, mainly. Or you can do a one-click WordPress install. This is DigitalOcean. There are others, such as Linode. You can also use your registrar, such as GoDaddy. You'd want to go to web hosting and follow the procedure there to set up your web hosting with your domain. You're looking for something like a cloud application. Cloud, an application software. And again, you'll find one-click install apps. You can manually install it yourself from WordPress.org directly, or you can do these one-click apps. LAMP is going to be more involved. You'll need to download it from WordPress or a one-click WordPress install. This is GoDaddy. You can also do this with Bluehost or HostGator. The problem you will run into is when you use your registrar, the company you register your domain through, for your WordPress hosting, you can run into some problems when it comes to podcasting. They don't want you storing lots of media files on the server. Or iTunes might not like the settings of that web hosting server. So probably the best bet is to do something such as DigitalOcean or another VPS itself. If you're going to do podcasting, you probably are not going to want to go through a regular host. You are probably going to want to go through a VPS. So you are either going to need to learn a little bit about web hosting yourself, or you need to have your web geek guru or the hosting department, the web development department in your organization. They're going to need to set up WordPress for you. So one way or another, you get WordPress set up and you get it ready to go. Now I've installed WordPress at media.jessesteel.com for this demonstration. I've chosen how I want to set up WordPress and here I have it set up at the special website I'm only going to use for podcasting. I'm not going to use it for anything else. I could, but I'm not going to. And here I am ready to install WordPress. I'm probably going to use English, but you can use a lot of different languages. Continue. For my site title, I'm going to use Jesse's Podcast. I need a username. Use something smart like uh, JPCast. Uh, we'll do CST. Uh, Web Geek 56. Now here's my password. It automatically created this for me. I don't want that. I'm going to make my own password. I'm going to call it uh, Dangerous Password because it's really simple and easy. It's just plain words. Never have a password like that. That's dangerous. But for this demo, I'm going to use that. And in fact, I think I'm going to change my username for the demo. Demo user. 
This is a weak password, so I have to say OK. My email is important. My email. Uh, at jessesteel.com, of course. You can discourage search engines from indexing the website, which means Google's not going to look for you. At least they shouldn't. You're politely asking them not to. And that's correct. This isn't a normal website we want Google to search. We're just using this as a tool for our podcast. Now I'm going to click Install WordPress. Now you have to remember your password. Dangerous password and demo user. It's installing. Here we are. Next, we're all logged in and ready to go. There it is. Now, quickly, right away, there's not a lot to do. We're going to go set up something here on the general site. Jesse's podcast. This says just another WordPress site. I don't want that. I want it to say podcasting with with excellence. Why not? And uh, of course, this is the website I have it installed at. Now, I own jessesteel.com, but I set up this special subdomain just for this podcast, which doesn't cost me anything extra. And go down here and, uh, ah, who starts our work week on Monday? Sunday's the first work day of the week. And uh, I could choose a time zone by the calculation or by the city. But I'm not really worried about that now. Next, I need to have a good theme. So I'm going to go to Appearance and go to Themes. I'm just going to clean out garbage. I don't want 2017. It's beautiful. I want ugly. This is a podcast. I'm going to do 2016, which I like 2016. I use it for a lot of stuff. Activate. But we want simple here. We don't want beautiful. We want awesome simple, not awesome beautiful. Customize. Ah, let's do it the easy way. I'm going to go to widgets. We could also click customize, but I'm going to go to widgets. See all these widgets? These are all garbage things. Here, in fact, you know what? I'll show you how this looks. If I go here to my page, and I'm looking at my post here, there's my demo user. See all this garbage over here on the right? I don't want that. Those are widgets. There they are, right there. See search, recent posts, recent comments? There, search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, archive, that. We want rid of that. Oh, what's this hovery thing? It hovers like that sometimes. I'm just going to take it and drag it off. Boom. This is the fast way to deal with widgets. It's better than customize. Wow. Oh. See that? Watch me click the magic refresh button and it'll all go away. So much nicer. Look at that. So there I go. Now that I went to uh, settings, general, and got the name right, went to widgets... Got the sidebar cleaned up, and I had themes and set the theme to 2016. The, the, the simple awesome one instead of the beautiful awesome one. And everything's great. I'm done. I don't, I don't have to do anything else to set this WordPress site up. Now I need a picture. So here's my picture. Took me a long time to get that picture all set up. There it is. Now, because I'm using Ubuntu, of course, I used GIMP to make my picture. It's a square. A podcast needs a square picture. It needs it to be a JPEG, a JPG file, a JPEG. And you have to have two sizes of your square podcast picture. One is 1,400 pixels square. That means that it's the same height and width and 144. These are the two picture size podcast standards. Just get your really big one. 
I mean, you, you could make it 2,000, but you need to scale it down to 1,400 and 144. I already did that because I'm awesome. You can hire someone to do it or ask your geek department to do it or do it yourself like I did because I'm smart. In Ubuntu, it's all free. There are my pictures. Now I've got my web host here. I'm using FileZilla over here. And I'm going to upload that picture that's kind of hidden right here. That one and that one. And I'm going to get them on my web server. You can put them anywhere. But if I upload them to my web server, that's really easy. This right here is the WordPress app. That's my WordPress. And there they are. They pop up right there. This is my WordPress installation. There they just got uploaded. There they are. That's my WordPress installation we were just looking at a moment ago. Now, I need to get my links all worked out. That's another problem. We need categories and stuff. Now, I can go here to categories. It's under posts. And I can arrange my categories. But I've got to find my categories first. Like this here, uncategorized. That seems weird to me. I think I might want to change that, but I don't have to. I'm going to call it uh, podcast. Of course, I could do a bunch of these. Podcast. Update the category. Now, this is a cool, fun little thing. See, I can view my category. Look, look down here. It'll show you the link down in this area. View. That's my category. I can set up a whole bunch of categories and have a whole bunch of podcasts from this thing. And I can choose which podcast by which category. I can, over, I can have category goodness here, but I'm going to make it simple. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take view here. That's, that's the link to the category. I'm going to need that in a minute. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to copy the link location. I'm going to copy that link. We're going to use it. Now, I've got my little dummy post all set up because, see, if, if we go over to posts, WordPress installs with an automatic post. And there it is. It's in the podcast category because we just changed it. We can delete it. Trash. And, uh, of course, I can go to the trash and uh, I can empty the trash and... Uh, there we go. Now, go to feedburner.com, Google's feedburner, feedburner.com. It'll send you here. And I'm going to burn a feed right this instant. And I'm going to paste that link I just copied. There it is. That's my, see, it's media, Jesse, that's my subdomain. And then it says category podcast, which I just set and changed. Oh, but there's one thing. I have to go all the way to the end and add the word feed. There we go. Now it's going to give me not just a look at my posts. It's going to give the RSS. That's that little RSS logo there. It's going to give me the RSS feed for it. And I'm going to click. I am a podcaster. Next. Welcome, let's burn a feed for you. Oh, look at that. It got that from uh, my site title. This was all the stuff I put into WordPress. And look at that. It's got a name picked out for me. I can change it. I can change either one of these. I, I don't need to. I'm just going to click next. There we go. Congrats, your feed burner is now live. Want to dress it up a little? Oh, there it is. That's the link to my podcast feed. I'm going to use that all over the universe. Well, the known universe. I need to set up a few other things. So I'm going to click next. Now, this is important for iTunes. Now, you can do this later. It's in SmartCast. We're going to look at SmartCast. I can do it now or I can skip it. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to do it now. 
I'm scrolling down here. Any rich media file. That's what you want. You can do audio files only or video. There are podcasts with video. Uh, images is weird. Uh, you can do any. Uh, if you're doing audio, that's safe because it'll only be audio. Maybe you like uh, child safety locks on your doors. Doesn't matter. Any rich, any rich media file, I'll do that. Include iTunes elements. You have to have this if you want to be listed in iTunes later. You have to tell iTunes about this, and then they have to see that you have this checked here, and they will know. Add a category. Hmm, boy, lots of, lots of categories. We should do, uh, let's do something weird like politics. Nothing controversial there. Category. Mm, subcategory. You can do subcategories if you want. Uh, let's find something less controversial than politics, like uh, religion. Well, that's not ooh, Buddhism or uh, Christianity or Hinduism or I'm going to do Christianity and just see. Oh, we don't get, oh, we can have other subcategories. Oh, look, we can have lots of iTunes categories. We could have lots of non-controversial stuff like uh, we could do news and politics, which doesn't have any subcategories since politics are all the same. And we could do arts, uh, design, fashion, beauty, nothing controversial there or none. Well, do do no. I'm boring. I'm going to do no subcategory when I don't need to. Let's do uh, music because I'm a musician. That doesn't have a. I want a subcategory. We need a subcategory. Let's do. Um, let's do kids and family. No, that's boring. It doesn't have a subcategory. How about uh, government? Ooh, local government, national. Let's do regional. Nothing controversial about that. No, no, no. I I don't want to do a fifth category. I don't need one. Now, this is important. The podcast image location. Do you remember when we uploaded this image here? Hey, there you go. It's loading. Remember we uploaded this image? Well, we, we clicked on this and we dragged it up into the space. There it is on my web server right along with my WordPress installation. Well, we need to have the link to that. And it just so happens I've got my cheat sheet that you can't see, and I have the link to it right there. It's very simple. You can see it's in my web server, and then there's my file name. It's the JPEG, and that, you can see, is right there. Now, the podcast subtitle, you can add stuff. I've already got my own little fun thing here. There's my podcast subtitle. I've already typed that up. Podcast summary. People will see this in iTunes. Of course, my theme is today's news yesterday, because that's, uh, that's not controversial. We don't want to be controversial. Email. I've typed this to save time. And of course, that is real. You can email me at that. Media RSS, keep it. Why not? Copyright message. You can do what you want. Uh, okay, copyright. Uh, copyright. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu so I can press uh, my compose key, which I have set to cap locks. Cap locks. Uh, parentheses, C parentheses. Oh, look at that. It automatically did that because I'm using Ubuntu. Copyright, Jesse. Uh, Steel. Why not? Podcast author. Uh, Jesse. I'm lazy. I don't want to type twice. I'm going to uh, copy this and take this really long way to be lazy and, and paste it in there. Oh, you know what? Let's add to this. Uh, all rights reserved. I see that. Oh, here's another fun one. No rights uh, waived. Uh, be nice. I, I can type whatever I want here. It doesn't matter. I, you know, that no explicit content. I, I, that's complicated. I don't, I don't like explicit, but, but you need to know FCC rules. If you don't have explicit content, there are certain words that a lot of people use that they don't know are bad words. You have to know what the FCC thinks the bad words are. Now get more. Ah, huh. why not? Uh, why not check all these? You can check. It doesn't matter. The more information I get, the better, I guess. 
doesn't cost anything. All right, I did it. I'm all set. Everything's great. And uh, yeah, oh, self-hosted WordPress. That's what we're doing. See? There's a plugin. You don't need it, though. You can, but you don't need it. But you can. But we're doing WordPress without any plugins. Okay. Now I'm going to go to optimize. Optimize is important. Now all of the settings we just set for the podcast are all set up here in SmartCast. If I didn't set those up, I can go to SmartCast later and set the same things here. Let's look at what we set up. Well, what I set up and you were watching. Here. This is everything we just set up. And uh, we can go change it. So if you didn't set it up, then you can set it up here now. Now, there's two other things over here that you need to get because iTunes isn't your only thing. You need to have a feed image burner. Now, before I go there, SmartCast for iTunes and podcasts, it uses this great, big, huge, fat, enormous 1,400 pixel square version of the image. I have two, remember, one that's 144. You need that. So we're going to go to feed image burner for the 144 image. Well, remember, I uploaded that here. And uh, because I'm cool and I'm saving you time, there it is. That's my link to it. Now, I don't want to use this. I'm going to use my custom one. I mean, you don't want that to be your logo, you know, as awesome as it is. There's my URL. Now I'm going to do a title. What should my image title be? How about Jesse? There we go. Or uh, not nah, just Jesse. And I'll have a link. Well, I'm going to send. I'm going to send people to the awesomest website in the world. You, mm, JesseSteel.com. Activate. Okay, there we are. Title description burner. This is also a portent. As Rudyard Kipling said. Copy paste to save you time. Jesse Steele, the weekly podcast. My description. What's the best way to describe me? Today's news. Yesterday. Okay. So now we have browser friendly smart cast. Don't do smart feed. It maximizes compatibility and becomes all things to all readers which means that it's no longer all things to all things because you can't be all things to all things. And then podcast feeds will no longer understand you or podcast feed readers and the gang. Never be all things to everyone. Always. Not always. And this is one of those times. No. Feed image burner. Yes, we just did it. Title description. We're all set. If you need to change anything, go to edit feed details. And there it is. This was the stuff we said at the very beginning. Now, in theory, I don't have to do only one category. I can do one of these for each of my separate categories, or I can just have a simple one for everything and just use my WordPress site. And at the end, put a little slash. I'm going to highlight right here and add feed. And that will do everything I put at this. Feed burner is all set up. If something wasn't right with my WordPress installation, I would get an error message here and it would yell at me. Now I have my feed all set up. Let's see if we can find it. Let's just click on the feed. I'm going to control click here to open in a new tab. There we go. This is what the feed looks like. This is my 144 thing. There we are. Now you need to have at least one episode. We're going to do an episode in just a moment, but I want to show you something else first. You need to submit this to two places. This feed here. There's your feed. See? Don't look at the bottom. See here? That's your feed. It's also right here. Feedburner.com slash this. Now, there's a space there, so don't copy and paste this itself, you know, but uh, right click there. Copy link. Where's the copy? There's too much here. I'm copy uh, the, the link. There it is. Go into iTunes. 
I'm a podcaster or whatever, submit a podcast and give this link to iTunes. If everything's set, you're all good to go. If iTunes sends you back a message, if Apple says, I'm sorry, but we're not able to use your podcast because your web server doesn't have media regular something and they use all these words you don't understand. Probably it's because you're using your registrar's host. And the solution there is to go to a place, like I say, like DigitalOcean, use a VPS service such as DigitalOcean or Linode or call a web geek and get more legitimate, real yourself hosting set up. And if you do that, you'll be okay. A little more manualness if iTunes doesn't like you. Make sure iTunes likes you first. It could take a few days. Once you submit this link here, seen at this page here, once you get that set up, and you submit it to iTunes and iTunes likes you, you know, you can search yourself in the iTunes store. You know, everything's set up and beautiful. Once that's done, you need to go to the place where people really do podcasting. And that is Stitcher. Stitcher Stitcher.com. And that's how to get your podcast listed in the non iPhones. Of course, also iPhone. This is the iTunes used by everybody, not just Apple users. There it is. Stitcher. Now, you want to, you'll probably come to the top of the site here. You're going to want to go all the way down to the bottom and find partner sign up. Get an account if you don't have one and stuff. Partner sign up. Partner sign up takes you here. Of course, you're going to land at the top, but you're going to want to scroll down to the good stuff. There it is. See, it's got this interested, apply today, increase your audience, earn, uh, you know, no, okay, this is selling points, but they're telling you why you'd want to put it in Stitcher. You want to get into Stitcher so that Stitcher users can find you listed. Provide your name. This is what people are going to see. Uh, do the little recapture thing here. Use your email. Like they're real people. They're going to look at this. I've emailed with them. Stitcher people are awesome. And then continue. And they're going to ask you some questions. Just remember this. If you're ever planning to have two podcasts, you want to set up as a network or a provider. If you're going to have only one podcast, then set it up as only one podcast. Go to Stitcher here. Follow the instructions. Continue. Then I'm not going to do that now. But like I say, they will give you an option to be something like a network or a provider or a podcast company thing that has a bunch of podcasts or you're just one oh solo mio podcaster. You can choose either one, but if you're going to have multiple series, if that's the correct of plural of series, then you want to have the network thing and not just be oh solo mio. So that's kind of important, but not really. Get in Stitcher, and I'm going to show you why. JesseSteel.com, one of the most awesome websites in the world. See, there I am on Stitcher. This is my podcast listed on Stitcher. And with the Stitcher app, you can download it right here because I am on Stitcher. And you can be too. And that's the point I want to make to you today. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a podcast episode that we'll show here. Go over to posts. I'm going to click add new. Or you can just click that button up there, you know. Uh, what should we call this? I could call it first, but I'm going to call this one how to podcast like Jesse does. No, 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 no. See, it's the last word in the title. So according to the Chicago guide, it has to be capitalized. Now, I could go down here to categories and check podcast. And then that way it would show up if I'm, if I've got, uh, well, I'd, I'm not using categories. But if I had category here, now it would show up in that, you see. 
I can do other categories and such. Yes, I can create a different feed for each separate category and set up everything all over again, just like I showed you. This is the most important and trickiest part ever. Here I have my podcast episode that I've already recorded. Of course, I'm using Audacity, and we're going to look at that in a minute. But this is the important part I want you to see. Here's my podcast episode. It's all refined. It's all ready to go. And I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it right in. See, drop files. Boom. There it goes uploading. All set. This is a non-plugin WordPress. We're not using all the complicated podcast plugins. This is important. Link to media file change it to that. And that is where your media file is located up on the internet. Click insert into post. There it is right there. You know where it got that name from the file. There it is. That's the link down here at the bottom. You can see the link. There it is. And that's it. That is it. It's all done. We've got everything we need. I click publish. Well, it did that little gray out thing because sometimes it auto save. You have to click it twice. That's WordPress. My podcast is ready to go. If I go over here and I click on this, it'll take me here. I'm going to refresh it. Wait, what? It's not showing up? What? Why isn't it? Oh, that's right. Because I have to save my feed details because FeedBurner likes to cache it. C-A-S-H-E. It likes to, no, C-A-C-H-E. Excuse me. Thank you, George. It saves it. So when I save it, it's going to go check and refresh that feed. And so now, normally it would take maybe 20 minutes. But it just did it now, and so it should show up right there. There it is. And that's my podcast episode. That title right there came from this right here. That right there is this right here. And that's the episode in the podcast. And there it is. This would now be in the iTunes store after iTunes refreshes everything. It would show up in Stitcher after Stitcher refreshes everything. And that's the way to create a podcast episode. It's very simple and straightforward using WordPress with no plugins. Now, there's one more thing that we need to look at. Oh, what does this say back here? It looks kind of funny. That says not a Mac. See, it says there's an N that's off screen, which you can download it. Uh, Verb.ink is it? But you don't care. So I'm going to go to my podcast episode and I'm going to open up Audacity. It's totally free. This is the way I do audio. Here's my little five second podcast episode that I recorded. And I'm going to show you how I use Audacity totally free to process stuff. You might be bored at this, but this could make your life better. If you don't know how to record audio, this is how. If you do record audio, this is how to do it easy and better and how I do it in my podcast, in case you were curious. First, you can go up here to file and do chains. I'm going to do some processing to make the audio better. You can do this automatically. You can edit the chains and create them here. I apply it and I use what I labeled as the podcast chain. I have trouble with this one, so I just apply to current project. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to show you what I normally do, what I have this do. And if I'm not doing the chain, I do it manually. It does this. I'm going to do control A to select everything. That's control A. Two things, effect. Noise reduction, no. I do not use noise reduction. You need to get a good recording environment. I'm not going to use noise reduction. I've already done that in my room. Instead, I first need to do compressor and then normalize. And that's it. I can record right in here. I can't press record because I'm recording in another window. Here, I'll show you the window I'm recording in. That's the window that I'm recording in right now. You're looking at it. Ooh, I'm going to move that out of the way. 
I can bring in my own audio file. I can take my podcast here that I recorded from before and I'm going to put it in here for processing. Boom. Wasn't that cool? Effect compressor. I can't press OK because I'm currently recording in another window. But normally I just keep the settings and press OK. And then normalize. Normal settings, minus one. OK. Boom. Now I'm going to save it. This is the cool thing about Linux and Ubuntu. You can't save as to change the file. You want to change the file type. We don't want to save this as an Audacity file. We want to save it as an MP3 file. We have to do export audio. Now it's going to give you this AIFF jazz. You don't want that. I'm saving it to my desktop. There we are. See, this says MP3 file, but no one knows what AIFF is. Well, my podcast episode is called How to... Oh, capital P because I'm cool. Podcast.mp3. Of course, I'm going to do that. Now, I'm not using spaces. Don't use spaces. You can... But spaces can mess up the internet. The internet doesn't like spaces. So make sure there aren't spaces. You can also use an underscore. If you get into other special characters, then dash and underscore, it could yell at you and be angry. So use letters, numbers, dash and underscore, and don't use anything else, and you should be safe. Bitrate mode. I like constant. Some do variable. I like constant. Quality. This is medium, which is, I mean, medium is superb, by the way. It's for music. With all these numbers, there are just a few you need to look at. 320 is awesome. If you're selling an audio file to someone, they're paying money for it, you need to give them this. That way they can use it to edit and make movies. And they can put it onto whatever they want. If you buy music from iTunes and Apple, you're going to get this one. If you're recording the original of your music, you need this one. If you're trying to save this for the museum for all eternity and you're, you don't care how big it is, use this one. That's always the best. For music, this is probably good enough. Most definitely. If you're putting music onto your portable device. 128 is more than good enough. On your phone for listening, in your car, even on a USB at home. If you're storing it on your home computer, music on your home computer, and you want to make sure that it's extra good, even though it doesn't need to be, save it as this. That's fine. Home playing, great. This is still more than enough for music. For talking, talking is less complicated. 96. That's what I use. Talking isn't as complex as music. And you want to keep the file small to save space and bandwidth, both for your website and for your listeners. 96 kilobytes per second. That's what I do for good quality podcasts. Even then, you might think that my audio sounds a little bit bad if you're an uber geek. But for spoken word stuff, talking, preaching, teaching, audiobooks, that's probably good enough for a podcast. Now, if you're selling an audiobook or you want an, a real actual audiobook file, you're probably going to be giving people the 321, which you can't see because it's off the screen now because it jumped around. But if you're doing an audiobook to sell, you're going to need 320. This is a podcast, 96. Now we're going to do save. We get our metadata here. Let me see if I can squeeze all this into the window so you can see it. I'll look at that. I did. Now, I've got this set as my default. You can fill out this information. When you first see it, it's going to be blank however you want. You can also save it for many different podcast series. But I've filled out all this for the stuff that doesn't change week to week. And I clicked set that as my default. And there it goes. Now, for this particular one, I'm going to double click here, how to podcast. Track number. I don't need to put zero in front of stuff. I can just do one or I can do 56, you know, 
But this is number one because it's how to podcast. So it's going to be number one. And of course, everything else is the same. Now, I don't know where this came from. Unknown text information. Eh, that's weird. I don't, I don't need that. I don't even know how that got there. You'll probably never see it. Comments. That's probably your website or from this genre podcast. You could do sermon. This is a drop down list. It acts a little bit funny. You could do sermon teaching. I like to do podcast title. That's your series artist name. Probably the same. Now click OK and watch it show up. Ooh, it's going to yell at me. Sometimes it yells at you. Ah, just continue. Here it's saving. There it is. How to podcast.mp3. Now, oh, it's yelling at me again. It's, it's here. And uh, get this. Okay, there we go. I'm going to do a new episode just for fun. How to podcast like Jesse does was the first one. And uh, this is going to be. Uh, how to podcast. Take my file, drag it in. I'm going to hold it and wait for the drop files window to come up. There it is. I'm going to let go and I'm going to be patient. There's my upload area. It's going to show up in a minute there. It's uploading. It's going slowly because I've got a lot running on this little computer with my video screening. There we are. And again, most importantly, no plugin WordPress, link to media file. If I need it, there's the link there. There's the link there. It's in two places. Link to media file. That's very important. The reason we do link to media file is this. There. Put it in. I can choose to create another category if I want. That would be automatic because there's only one. It's the default category. Publish and that's it. That's it. I just created a podcast episode. Another podcast episode. Now the reason we click link to media file is this. When we upload it. Because FeedBurner is looking for any rich media file. If you do not have link to media file. Here we click add audio. It's the same window will come up. If you have embedded media player, it's not going to see the media file. You have to have link to media file selected right here. If you don't have link to media file selected here, then FeedBurner isn't going to even see it and the podcast won't exist. That's the secret connection to go from WordPress to this. Now one last thing. If you want to add an unnecessary plugin that you don't need for your podcast, but you want to send people to your website. Oh, you can delete these, by the way. My goodness. Just, just delete them. Just get rid of them. Yes. If you want an unnecessary plugin, but one that'll make it so people can play on your site. MB dot mini audio player. There it is. Right there. You can use that plugin right there. And then you'd click activate. And then over here should be at settings MB mini audio player settings or right here from this page. But this is where you'll find it every day. Play around with the settings and, oh, it's going to ask you for your donation. If you're cool, do it and you'll get rid of this annoying nag thing here. You can have fun with the settings. They're fun and stuff. A lot of the defaults work, but you can do it that way so that this post here that we made now looks different with this. And then the post looks like this. And here's our little audio player and we can just play it. And then people will have an audio player, but it's still a media file that will be recognized 
in feed burner here. But that's optional. That's how I podcast.